Hey, Timur Sol here. Just to add up on the last video uh, where we talked about how to make this uh, light shine like a warning light or like a sea lantern um, with rotation. Um, I showed you that you can use an asset that you made yourself and choose it to block light. Now, you can choose any asset actually to block light. So if I choose this wall over here, this is a wall that was uh, set down as a line. Uh, I could go into my light tools, shadow, and I could make it block light. Works perfectly. I have an, a simple set of objects over here. Um, this is a polygon line. Again, I could make it block light without any problems. Uh, if you don't see if it works or not, I'm gonna go down with the lights and you'll see that it works perfectly. Um, I could also pick a singular object like this over here. This is a singular wall. And I also could go into my light tools, shadows, and make it block light. No problem at all. Um, there are also different ways to do that. You don't have to have an object per se to make a barrier for lights. If you would open your content property, if you have your hand open, you can always go into build options and select barrier. Now these barriers, if you're playing in-person VTT with Argon Forge, these barriers are not seen by the players. You see them on your GM screen as red lines. The players only see a lack of light, let's say. If I would just do a straight line, I'm holding my left mouse key over here. I'm clicking again, right click to release. You see that it works perfectly. Could add more barriers in different shapes and it works as it should. Um, now, since the last uh, videos, since the last couple of videos, there's also a slight change um, for our good, let's say. Um, you can add lights to any object. That was uh, that was how it was how it worked earlier, um, but now you can also make them flicker. Uh, there was a quick fix by Nathan. So if I would turn on the light over here, I could go into effects lighting and turn the flicker on, and you see how it flickers in and out. Um, it's a fun way to make something more interactive, let's say. I'm just gonna turn this light off for a second. Go back here, change the radius to 6, let's say. And it's nicely visible, uh, giving a soft yellow light like like light um, that flickers uh, flickers nicely um, what you could also do obviously is again in your hand tool you have light source place a stand alone light source you don't need an object to place a light source you can do it just like this and again you can set everything over here if you set the color to black this is interesting it won't be visible over here, but there's a, a reason for that. Um, if this light would shine through the fog of war, if I would turn this on, and if I would go into my fog of war and enable it, notice the difference. This light over here makes it uh, so that you can see through the line of war if you're playing in the VTD. This light over here, it does not have the same effect. It does not uh, discover the fog of war for your players. You could obviously turn it on um, in any given moment. And this object will be also seen as it shines through the light of war. Uh, fog of war. <laughs> 